What's going on guys? I wanted to do this video from the last video. I'm taking these two 3Gs and we're doing a comparison on iOS 3 versus iOS 4 if I can not hit the phone there. And let me show you that these are running firmwares. They're running the last firmwares of iOS that, you know, last three version, last four version Technically, I don't want to get in technical terms, but yes, this is iOS 3.1.3, last iOS 3 update. This is iOS 4.2.1, last iOS 4 update, technically, because the iPhone 4 did receive some more point updates after that. Like, my iPhone 4 has 4.2.5, so anyway, we're going to go through here, do some quick tests, see? If your phone did get slowed down by upgrading to iOS 4, and should you try downgrading back to iOS 3? I mean, it is technically possible. It's complicated. This one I just bought with iOS 3, because downgrading is hard in some cases, depending on what phones, what firmware you want to be on. But anyway, let's check messages here. So messages did take quite a bit longer to load on iOS 4. But next let's try calendar. Surprisingly loaded instantly on there. Now, um, there is no app switcher on here. You can't clear out apps because even if you could, what's the difference? There's not enough room to keep apps open. Let's go to photos. Photos loaded way easier on iOS 3. Next, let's try camera. Let's try camera again. Since we kind of missed that one there. All right, so it did load faster on iOS 3 as I expected. Um, we can't test internet-based apps because this one will connect to Wi-Fi and this one won't. And if I went to an app that did support um, internet. As you can see, it will say, I do not have cellular data, which I clearly do, but these old phones tend to think that I don't. Um, let's try notes. So yeah, everything's pretty much opening faster on iOS 3. Let's check settings. Yeah, way faster. General. And about. Yeah. So, I mean, this happens with pretty much every phone. It's usually faster on an older firmware. And I'm sure if we had another 3G here with iOS 2, that would be even blazes faster than these two. But at least this way we can see it's not that much of a speed down upgrading to the next iOS version say as a 4S running iOS 5 versus iOS 9 but you can see that it is significantly slower but not not something that would be a deal breaker and really you're not going to use these phones in day to day life anyway they're so old can't even use them anymore one thing I have noticed and I hopefully I can point out on the 3GS video too it seems like older OS's tend to have better signal than the new iOS versions. I don't know why, but they just do. But anyway, just wanted to see how they hold up. And both of these phones should be getting a video here soon of just using them a day in the life in late 2020. Is impossible, yeah, kind of, because I've been using the 3G already, but we'll see how that goes, and uh, that's pretty much the video, you know, just want to do a quick speed check on a 3G with iOS 3 and iOS 4, maybe, hopefully we can find a 3G with iOS 2 and do that, and we'll be checking the 3GS on different iOS versions, so 
thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in another, probably, comparison video.